Hi everyone, Landu Assistant here and welcome back to Assistant German Academy. Let's do some practice and SAT review and in this video our topic is about exponents. Here are our problems for today. Part 1. Solve this equation without using logarithm and part 2. Simplify the following expressions with exponents. And we are given here 8 problems designed to review our knowledge of the laws of exponents. Let's begin with the first problem. What we are given here is an equation with variable in the exponents. And normally when there is an unknown quantity in the exponents, the way to solve the problem is to use logarithm. But this problem is designed in such a way that we can solve this without using logarithm, but we need to recall our loss of exponents. At the left side, you have a fraction 4 over 9, and at the right side, you have a fraction 27 over 8. What do we notice about 4 over 9? 4 is a perfect square, and 9 is a perfect square. At the right side, 27 is a perfect cube, and 8 also is a perfect cube. So with that as the hints, what we can do is we can rewrite 4 over 9 as another fraction raised to an exponent and we can also rewrite 27 over 8 as another fraction raised to an exponent. So let's do that. So from the given equation, we can write 4 over 9 as 2 over 3 raised to the second. Similarly, 27 over 8 can be written as 3 over 2 raised to the third. And then we copy the respective exponents. Notice here that you have an exponential number raised to another exponent, so you have power of power. So applying now power of power, we can multiply this exponent 2 and this exponent x plus 1. We can also multiply this exponent 3 and this exponent x. So we arrive at 2 over 3. We now have here the product of the exponents. And then we can distribute this 2 to the binomial x plus 1 to arrive at 2 over 3 all raised to 2x plus 2, and then we just copy the right side. Now, notice that you have here 2 over 3 and 3 over 2. If there is a way for us to rewrite one of these fractions, either the 2 over 3 or the 3 over 2, so that one becomes similar to the other fraction, then we can apply the one-to-one -one property of exponential function. Luckily, we can do that. What we can do is, instead of 3 over 2, we can write that as 2 over 3 raised to negative 1. Notice that we get the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 over 3, but now this is raised to negative 1 exponent. So again, here you have an exponent and another exponent. So using now the power of power rule, we multiply negative 1 times 3x to arrive at this equation. Notice here that you now have 2 over 3 as the base and 2 over 3 here as the base also. So using now the one-to-one -one property of the exponential function. If the bases are the same, it implies that the exponents also are equal. And so we arrive now at this linear equation, 2x plus 2 equals negative 3x. What we did was we just equate this exponent to this other exponent. So solving now for x, we can add 3x to both sides and subtract 2 from both sides. We arrive at 5x equals negative 2. And finally, x is equal to negative 2 over 5. In many standardized tests, you will encounter problems like this, where you are being tested to recognize patterns, to recognize situations where you can apply the loss of exponents, and problems like this can be solved even without using logarithms nor using calculators to evaluate those logarithms. Let's go to the second part. In the second part, we are just going to apply the properties of exponents. And letter A, any number raised to zero is equal to one. So our answer here is one. In letter B, the number one raised to any positive exponent is also equal to itself. When you multiply 1 by itself 30 times, you will still get a product of positive 1. In letter C, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So no matter what the number is, except 0, 
any number raised to zero is equal to one. At letter D, you are multiplying this exponential expression two to the third times two to the fourth times two raised to x. Since the bases are equal, we just copy the common base two and we add the exponents. So you have three plus four equals seven, seven plus x is seven plus x. So our final answer is two raised to seven plus x. Now in letter E, when you have an exponential expression raised to another exponent, we apply the power of power rule. So here, we just have to multiply the exponents x and three and copy the common base. So we have three raised to three x. In letter F, when you encounter a group of numbers and their corresponding operations raised to an exponent, the priority is inside the grouping symbol using the PEMDAS rule. So this becomes 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and 4 raised to the second is equal to 16. In letter G, when you raise negative 1 to an even exponent, the result is always positive 1. Whereas when you raise negative 1 raised to any odd exponent, the result is always negative 1. So thank you very much to our follower who sent us this question. So thank you, thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.